Hey guys, I wanted to jump on and talk to you about the current energies and my divine creator program. At this time, we are being called to create and live and lead from a new space. If you are not in soul alignment, you're going to feel energetically drained, depleted, and overwhelmed. We have so many toxic work environments and employees that aren't even performing at their optimal potential. And why? Because they're not compensated correctly. They don't get time off. And everything is like work, 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 work. Produce, produce, produce. We cannot thrive in a society that's workplaces and earning potentials are like this. This is why we have so much stress and mystery illnesses and autoimmune diseases. People are too scared to live in their full power and truth because it's not safe to do that and to travel into the unknown. And all forms of lack consciousness and self-worth issues will come up if you try to venture into that. I think this is so important to talk about at this time because we're going into a recession. Businesses are not thriving. People are not living in alignment and creating with integrity and responsibility and using their true brilliance. I see this as an invitation for all of us to go back to our divine roots and remember our multidimensionality and that we are energetic beings and powerful creators. And when we come together and create from alignment, we can change the way we live and lead in this world. But that requires us to change our mindsets in the way that we interact with one another and to take courageous leaps. Being a pioneer and a way shower is not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. But I will tell you, it is so powerful when you do it and the richness that you experience when you are in alignment with your soul's calling. Every single one of you has spiritual gifts, beautiful gifts, whether you choose to acknowledge them or not. Most of you can't even create a safe enough space in your body for them to emerge because of fear of judgment, fear of failure. If we could create businesses from a place of power and your unique brilliance, things would change. If we could create compensation packages and businesses where employees felt nourished and on board, people would use their true brilliance in their work. When you can use your intuitive abilities, higher ideas and downloads from other aspects of you and infuse that into your current life, you create richness, you create true abundance. Let me give you an example. I was born here, right? I know that sounds funny the way I just said that, but I came in spiritually aware and, and gifted as a child, but I was scared of it. So I kept shutting it down, stuffing it down, right? But it kept knocking on my door. Are you going to pay attention to me now? Are you going to pay attention to me now? And I wouldn't listen. And I would get sick. I would choose the wrong relationships. Always getting the nudges, always getting the signs. 
and I would avoid them. And I created a lot of pain <laughs> and suffering for myself because I didn't trust myself. I didn't trust my intuition. I was actually scared of my full power. The minute I started exploring it and having to take really big leaps, really big leaps, even going away to college, getting married, having kids, leaving my first husband, leaving my job, taking a yoga teacher training, exploring all my healing abilities and saying yes to them. It was challenging. I didn't have the support. I didn't. Not when I was younger and not when my kids were younger. And it was hard. I was a single mom. It was hard. It was difficult. And I want to save any of you that are going through that, that pain and suffering and help you own more of you. Because the minute you do that, doors open up and your life can change at an accelerated rate. I am living proof of that. I didn't even know. I didn't take a sound healing training or anything like that. I didn't know that I would be singing and doing what I was doing. Sound found me. A singing bowl and a harmonium, those things were gifted to me. I knew how to play them. This was part of my rem remembrance. And this opened in me because I created a frequency within myself for it to feel safe to emerge. I started allowing it to come through and nurturing it and not being scared of it. And my body started to open and I started to heal on so many levels. Essential oils, they found me. I didn't know that I was going to be blending and doing alchemy with essential oils. Once it found me, I connected to it, and then I wanted further training so I could do it safely. So then I saw a, a, a mentor for things like that. But I just want to say that all the gifts that I share, it was a remembrance. It's my true power. It's what I incarnated here to do, and you guys have that too. but can you create a safe environment for it to actually emerge so you can know more of who you are? And once we use these gifts in all areas of our life, we create richness and true abundance. So whether you're a restaurant owner, a business owner, a doctor, a massage therapist, me, a microbiologist, you can infuse your gifts wherever you are and increase your performance and brilliance and make a difference in the environment around you. Just because you have spiritual gifts doesn't mean you need to leave the profession if you love it, if you love where you're at, you can enrich it. But most of you will be probably called to leave those professions and be a leader and a pioneer and show a new way and build something new. Because the more you say yes to you, the more new gifts open for you. This is really powerful stuff. We're all creative geniuses. We're all divine creators. I just want to see every single being living their best life and not feel victim to their circumstances. I was a single mom. I gave up a whole life, you know, like the pool, the hot tub, the house, the husband, the daughter, the son. And I went into a small apartment with my two children and started all over from scratch and built my reality all the way back up. And I left my job and I'm generating abundance, doing what I love. I was able to go to my daughter's basketball tournaments on the weekends. And whenever she has something to do, I don't have to say, oh, I gotta check, check my work schedule. 
No, I create my reality around my family because that's important to me. And this is how I want to see everyone living is a life where it's really simple. You have love, harmonious relationships, financial abundance, doing what you love, deep connections with others, deep connections with the earth and spirit. This is true abundance to me. And I've created the Divine Creator 90-Day Accelerated Program for you to learn what your true abundance is to you, to tap into your brilliance, to claim all of that, and to lead confidently in your spiritual gifts and infuse them into every aspect of your life. This is going to be an epic program. And if you feel the call, check out the registration page and honor it. It will be life-changing. I promise you that. Let's light up the world. Let's live in our brilliance. Let's remember our connection to Mother Earth and what we came here to do. Financial systems are changing. Everything is changing. Those who will be successful and experience true abundance are those who are living in alignment with their soul's calling. Everything is going to crumble that is not in alignment. If you need support with this, this program is for you. Check it out. I'm going to put the link below, okay? Sending you all so much love. Be courageous. One more thing coming through. Work with the animals. The animal totems are coming through to help you. There's a lot of lion and bear energy. <laughs> and tigers, lions and tigers and bears, oh my. But no, really, those of you who are leaders, are feeling the bear medicine and the lion and the tiger energy coming in pretty strong right now. Power up. Let's do this. Sending you all so much love. Mwah.